I'm out here playing Wexford in Hilton Head, South Carolina today, and I'm playing from the back tees, which are just under 7,000 yards. And although it's a little shorter than your typical championship length course, the rating is 74.2 with a slope of 147. So it is still a pretty challenging course, even though it's a little bit shorter. So here off the number one tee, I'm hitting a driver over the right side fairway bunker, and I've got about 75 yards in. So I'm hitting a little knockdown sand wedge here. Pulled it just a bit, but the distance was pretty good, so I have a little downhill look at birdie. Now, all the greens on the entire island were aerated at the same time, so we're playing the two-putt rule today if you're on the green. And I gave this one a good run and lipped out, but ended up tapping in for par on the first. Second hole here is a pretty short par four, so I'm going with a two hybrid to keep it in play. The fairway is pretty skinny here. Ended up pulling this one and overdrawing it, but since I took the right club, I'm going to end up just in the left rough instead of out of bounds. I got about 135 into the pin, so I'm hitting a little gap wedge here, and this one ended up just about perfect right at the pin. So again, I had a good look for birdie on the second hole. Gave it a good run, but it kind of just wobbled offline oh. and missed just right. So I'm even par through two. Unfortunately, on top of being airified, all of the par threes had tee boxes under construction, so playing temporary tee boxes on those from 75 to about 100 yards. This one was about 80, and I hit a little lob wedge in there to just a few feet and ended up tapping in for birdie. So I'm one under through three, although it doesn't feel that great when the par threes are so short. This is one of the longer par fours, so I am taking driver here. And you'll notice that I was battling left shots all day long. I tried to hit a little fade here. Started on a good line, just went dead straight, so I ended up behind these trees on the left. Going through him wasn't the best shot, so I'm hitting a big draw here around the trees and hit it really well. Unfortunately, overdrew this, so it just went long and left of the pin, just off the green. The good news is that my short game's been feeling really good lately, so I hit a nice chip shot up there and rolled up just past the pin on the right. And this is one of many par saves that I made on the day. This one's a par 5, and it's not really reachable unless you hit an absolutely perfect drive. So, of course, I hit the worst drive of the day here. It was really healy and thin and straight left into the trees. Luckily, I had a little window in the pine straw here and hit a really good shot. It went a little farther left than I wanted, but far enough up there that I had a good look at the green. Had about 160 in from here, so I'm hitting a little 9-iron up the hill, and I hit this one perfectly, and it was going right at the pin. So I had a good look for birdie, despite a terrible tee shot and a mediocre punch out. Fortunately, the aeration on this screen helped me and I went straight in the hole for a birdie, so wow. I'm two under through Great five birdie. here. Feeling good going into another super short par three, but unfortunately just pulled this one, gave it a little extra juice, and went over the back, which is the worst place to be. So you gotta hit a perfect flop shot here, and even if you do, you're pretty much out of luck because it's gonna run down the hill all the way to the front of the green. I hit this one as good as you can, but it rolled down past the pin. Luckily the greens were super slow, otherwise it would have ended up 40, 50 feet away. And on this putt, just hit something in the green and shot right, but I deserve a bogey there anyway. Short par four here wraps around a little bit to the left, so I'm trying to play a draw off these bunkers down the fairway. Finally hit a good draw, ended up about 50 yards from the pin, which is way up in the back left. 
So I'm hitting a little nipper lob wedge here and it felt like I caught this one perfect, but I guess I just misjudged the distance and ended up short. Good thing we're playing the two putt rule. Normally this would come far left off the hill, but it just stayed pretty straight. So I took a par there. So I'm one under through seven coming into this par five. Out of bounds on the right, water on the left, so I kind of bailed out right, almost went out. But I had a tiny window in the pine straw, so I'm hitting an 8 iron here. Ended up pulling it just a little bit left, but still made it past that tree and up over the next one. So I'm in the fairway with about 60 yards to the pin. Hit a nice high lob wedge here, ended up going long on the back of the green, and I had to look up the hill from about 30 feet to the hole. Hit a good putt here, and this really shows how bumpy and bouncy these greens are, but I got it up tight and was able to tap that one in for a par. So I'm one under going into nine, and this is a super tight par four. If you hit it past the bunker in the fairway, it's only about 20 yards wide, and then the green is extremely skinny, so I'm laying back here a little bit. I ended up pulling this, so I had a longer shot into the green than I'd normally like. It was about 135. So again, I'm hitting a gap wedge here. I struck it well and thought it would draw and that the wind would help bring it back, but it ended up going in the right bunker and plugging. This is one of three or four fried egg lies I had over the week. And really that was the best bunker shot I could ever hit from that lie. Ended up just over the lip and rolling to the other side of the green. Didn't hit the greatest first putt from the fringe, but had this little tap in and it lipped in for a bogey. So I was even on the front, which is actually really good considering how bad my swing felt and how poorly I was hitting a lot of my longer shots. I hit this drive well, but it ended up turning over too much and needed to go straight over the bunker or even fade a little bit. So I ended up long and left to the fairway in the rough on a side slope. I thought I aimed far enough right to play for the slope here, but it still ended up going left to the greenside bunker. And we were playing through some guys on this hole, so I was kind of hurrying and hit a bad chip here. It went over the green, and then I tried to bump it into the hill coming back. Ended up pulling it a little bit, but luckily stepped up there and made that for bogey, which could have been a lot worse. Another par 5 here that's really tough to go for in 2 from the back tees, so I'm hitting a 3 iron. Struck this one really well, went straight down the middle. And then I hit another 3-iron from the fairway. I was trying to hit a draw around that bunker on the right. But ended up just going dead straight, so I ended up in the right rough. Had about 100 yards to the pin and hit a little sand wedge here. It went just to the right of the pin, about pin high, and I had a good look for birdie. I gave this one a good roll and luckily it ended up bouncing right and left and then finally into the hole. So I'm even through 11 and this is probably the hardest hole on the course just because it's so long. It's a par 4 and this was one of my better drives right down the middle over the hill so I got a little bit of extra run down the slope on the backside. I had a 9 iron into this pin and honestly this is one of the easier pins here and just ended up yanking this one left just off the green. Not really surprised given what all of my shots were doing this day but pulled my 60 out and hit another good chip and had a chance to save par. and surprisingly made that one through all the bumps in the green again. About 100 yards to the pin on this par 3 from the temporary tees and unfortunately caught this one just fat. 
Landed in the bunker with another fried egg lie. And like the one earlier, I ended up hitting about as good of a shot as you can from that lie and tapping in for another par. So I'm still even at this point, and this is a fun par 4. If you get it over the bunkers in the fairway, it'll run all the way down the slope close to the green. So this was another one of my better tee shots. I did exactly what I was trying to do and had about 50 yards to the pin. And I hit what I thought was a perfect shot. I couldn't really see where the hole was, but it ended up landing about pin high and rolling out a bit. Missed that for birdie and tapped in for par. This is a really fun par five. If you hit a good drive, you can definitely reach it in two, but of course I hit another one of my worst drives here. It was definitely going out of bounds, but luckily hit a tree really hard and shot straight back to the middle of the fairway. Sometimes I can hit a 7 or 8 iron into the green, but here I'm hitting a 6 iron laying up short of the water. I hit it well, but it just didn't turn over enough, so I ended up in the right rough at about 110 yards to the pin. I hit a lob wedge hoping for a flyer and thought I caught this perfectly. I thought I'd be right next to the pin, but unfortunately it hit the top of the wall and went into the water. So instead of dropping up closer, I just threw a ball down and hit another one. And this time I got the flyer and ended up going about 130 yards over the back. No way! I can't hit a long wedge 130. And as you can see, this is just impossible. It's about a four foot tall slope. So coming from the back, even on punch greens, you're going to roll way past the pin. So I missed that, missed the comeback putt and tapped that one in and took an eight to go from even to three over after 15. So hoping I can finish strong here. I'm hitting another hybrid off the tee on this short par four. Striped this one right down the middle and had about 130 yards into the pin. The screen has three tiers with the middle being the lowest and I thought the pin was down in the bottom. So I hit this about 130 yards, caught it perfectly and thought I'd be five feet from the pin. Unfortunately, as I was driving up there, I realized the pin was in the front. So you can see here I'm way down in the bottom, and it's just an impossible putt from down there. Good speed, bad line, but was able to tap that one in for par. These last two holes are really cool. They play on the water, and you always get a lot of right-to-left wind. And I think it was playing 160, so I'm hitting a 9-iron here. And I'd like to blame the wind for hitting this left, but that's not why I did. But I went right in the bunker. Luckily it wasn't plugged and I had a decent look, but ended up hitting it a little fat, so I was about 15 feet short. And like a lot of the holes today, I was able to save par with a good putt. So I'm 3 over going into 18, and you have to hit over a couple marsh areas, so I'm hitting a 3 iron here, kind of aiming right at that bunker out there on the left. Hit a good shot here, pretty much dead straight right where I wanted to be. And then this was probably the best swing of the day. I had 145 to the flag. I'm hitting a pitching wedge. And caught it perfectly. So it went about 150, a little bit long, just past the pin. And I was hoping to finish with the birdie. This putt wasn't really that tough, but I was kind of at the mercy of whatever the aeration marks were going to do. So I ended up jumping left, and I went and re-putted a few times and missed every single time, but... Ended up shooting 3 over 75 with really bad greens, but short par 3s, which I thought was a really good score considering how terribly I was hitting most of my longer clubs. I was able to make a lot of really good par saves, and once I get the driver dialed in, I think I'll be pretty close to breaking my goal of shooting under par.